Hey, good afternoon, guys. This is Nathan Pennington from RunDreamAchieve.com, and today's video I wanted to make a video about how to push yourself when running. Uh, this is a this is a topic a lot of distance runners are constantly trying to get better at. Um, and the name of the game with distance running, especially when it comes to racing, regardless of what distance it is, is trying to manage that pain. And you know, just based on my experience. You know, practice getting out there, practicing running faster than your goal race pace often is the key. I mean, you, you've got to get to a point where you're teaching your body to clear lactic acid faster than it's building up in your bloodstream. And the biggest hindrance for most runners when it comes to, you know, learning how to push yourself when running is, is patience. You know, it, it's so easy to, um, you know, feel discouraged and to want to quit or to, you know, back off on your training when, especially when you're running by yourself, you know, it's a lot easier run easier when you're doing workouts by yourselves, whether it be a tempo run or you're doing a track workout. Um, that's why I, I always, you know, recommend get, get around people that are faster than you get in the groups on the track. Um, so you can, you know, alternate doing those repeat miles and those repeat two miles on the track, repeat 800s where you're running, you know, you know, 30, 20 to 30 seconds faster than you're than you're planning on racing at for say like the half marathon or marathon you really want to get accustomed to running um, at speeds that are much faster than you're trying to than you plan on racing at over the distance you know that's that's kind of key because it really toughens you up mentally you know the the marathon the 5k the 10k you know these you know the, the shorter the distance obviously the more anaerobic it is the longer the distance the more aerobic it is uh, so, but regardless, if you're training at speeds that are much faster than you're planning on aiming at racing at, it's going to make you more mentally strong, mentally tough, and, you know, give you that, that mentality that I can, I can sustain this pace, you know, and it, and it comes with practice too. You know, our, our, um, you know, r running fast for long periods of time, you know, does take, uh, an enormous amount of patience, uh, and, and, you know, being willing to, to, to hurt for long periods of time. So, you know, just the, the simple answer, bottom line up front, as we say in the military, is, you know, patience. You have to have it. You have to have a, a belief in delayed gratification. Um, have the certainty that you're going to achieve the goal that you want, whether it takes a few months or a few a couple years or a decade. You know, I always reemphasize to people that listen to these videos that, you know, if they see that I ran a 219 marathon, uh, I want you to remember that I started running in 1992 and didn't run that time until 2007. So it took a lot of years to get to a point where I could break a sub 220 marathon. You know, I started running marathons in 2002 and, you know, debuted at the 2002 New York City Marathon where I had to experience, you know, what it was like to run a marathon for the first time. And, you know, yes, you have to be mentally tough. You have to be willing, you have to be able to push yourself mentally, you know, and, and obviously too, an, another really important thing to keep in mind is when you're out there with, you know, competitors and being out there running and chasing other athletes, just, you know, getting that, getting those groups where you're, where you, you know, you're going to be around people, guys and gals that are pushing you to, to the limit and, you know, continue to visualize yourself doing the things that you think right now you're not capable of doing. You know, it's very, very important to continue to practice mentally training, mentally rehearsing over the, the types of goals that you visualize and that you see yourself achieving. So, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's easier said than done, but how to push yourself when running is, you know, really, you know, get accustomed to training at, at speeds a lot faster than you're trying to race at. You know, that, that's kind of a, a big uh, technique that I used over the years. Where you know I was, <clears throat> I'd run a, a specific time for say the half marathon, and I I wanted to run 10 to 15 seconds faster per mile, so I was always running faster than I was expecting to run over you know 5k to the marathon distance. I always always trained to race much much faster, um, you know either doing repeat track workouts or doing tempo runs, uh, doing you know, all out hill sprints, you know, two to 300 meter all out hill sprints on the way up, you know, doing uh, 10 to 14 reps going up a 200 to 300 meter hill, um, all out, go as hard as I can, short jog on the way back down, and then going back up, 
you know, these types of workouts where you're continually practicing running much, much faster than that you're tr than you're wanting to race at is going to really toughen you up mentally and really get you in that that frame of mind that, you know, I can continue to to sustain this pace, push the pace, react to my competition, whatever they're trying to throw at me. So that's my message to you today. I got to get out of here. Um, I'm in Ohio and on my way back from uh, my nephew who ran at the state Pennsylvania State Cross Country Championships. So. Uh, they're about to kick me out of the hotel, so but I wanted to make this video just to kind of throw some pointers out to you. Hopefully it's been helpful. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, feel free to click subscribe, click on the bell icon. That way, any way I make a new, anytime I make a new video, you'll be notified of that as well. I'll leave some links at the bottom of this video in the description. Uh, click on those if you if you have some interest in um, one starting an, uh, an online business around health and nutrition. And I will leave the links also to RunDreamAchieve.com and some helpful uh, links for you as well in terms of, you know, really training your mind and building your, your mindset up to, to achieve those goals that you're seeking out. So uh, have a great afternoon, great morning, great evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll talk to you next time.